There is an African tribe called the Belly, and they create beautiful, colorful houses. They paint their homes in vivid, bright colors. They use bold black lines to outline the colors, and they use chicken feathers to create tiny, minute lines. I can relate to that. In fact, I basically do the same thing. In recent years, black art has been more visible than ever. Annie Lee, known for her faceless yet emotional works, highlighted on SNL by the singer Lizzo. Portraits of the former President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama by Kahindi Wiley, unveiled at the White House, and thought-provoking works like Paul Goodnight's Take a Knee have all put a brighter spotlight on the importance of African-American art. But still, black artists only make up less than 3% of the works in the major museums in the U.S. And while there have been pushes at museums like the National Gallery or the Met, shows like the one at Umoja are still steps in fighting oppression and racism through art. This story is to let people know.